after seeing Fabio Cordero getting beaten by almost every other bike, every time he hit the straights, especially towards the end of the season, Yamaha came under a lot of harsh criticism from fans, critics, as well as Fabio Cordero himself. Many still question Fabio's decision to stick with Yamaha, based on only a promise, despite having the cash of being the world champion. Even Yamaha's team manager Massimo Marigali and team boss Lynn Jarvis agree with Fabio and acknowledge that it is simply not possible to be competitive with the current horsepower deficit they have. Cordero was especially critical of Yamaha's troubles in his recent interviews where he reflected on the 2022 season. Responding to Fabio's comments, Yamaha's new project manager, Takahiro Sumi, spoke about the reasons why it's not as straightforward as just adding more horsepower to the engine. Sumi-san started by admitting the shortcomings of their bike. Sumi-san said, I've been involved in Yamaha's MotoGP project since 2021. Now I'm the project manager of the Yamaha group and it's a great opportunity for me. I don't know if our bike is more difficult now, but I can say it's a bike with the same concept, which is different from our rivals. Explaining the reason for Yamaha's lack of top speed, Sumi-san continued, Of course, we know we have to improve the top speed of the bike. We probably haven't got the most out of our engine yet for many different reasons. For example, two big reasons are reliability and character. Our 2022 engine was quick, but it was unreliable. After the valve issue we faced in 2020, we did not want to take any chances. That is why we continued with the 2021 engine in 2022 as well. And if we only focused on top speed, the engine would change character and become too aggressive. So we have to optimize everything and that's not easy. We worked on all aspects of the bike, from the chassis to the aerodynamics, trying not to lose balance. When asked about the rumors of Yamaha considering the switch to V4 engine design, Sumi-san signed off by admitting that Yamaha will not shy away from exploring the V4 concept if they feel that their current inline prototype has reached its ceiling. Sumi-san said, we still need to upgrade our engine to reach its full potential. If and when we reach the ceiling and we discover that engines that are not inline have more potential, then we will think about it and we will go in the right direction. Do you think Yamaha will be able to achieve competitive top speeds while maintaining the character of M1 in 2023? Let's chat in the comments below. And before you leave, don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing if you aren't already subscribed.